How this whole thing started is uh, creating my own big leagues. Most times people are like, you know, why didn't I think of that? My name is Randall Thompson. I'm the founder and president of Dugout Mugs. Everybody's got a story in the game of baseball in one capacity or another. I grew up playing Little League Baseball. Before I would even step on the rubber to, to pitch, I would stand back behind the rubber and I would recite in my mind that anything is possible, anything is possible, anything is possible. My dad was in the stands and we'd always give a head nod to each other before I would start pitching. It was my junior year and somebody said, hey, you know, you, got, you have good arm strength, you should pitch. And then that's when I got an opportunity to go play at Florida Tech. I started throwing hard and that's when I started getting the attention of, of professional scouts. And then after my senior year in college, um, I signed with the Toronto Blue Jays. It's absurd how much money you don't make. We were making $38 a week. Went through extended spring training, and then a few days after extended spring training was about to, about to break for short season teams, uh, they, they told me to, to get lost, that, uh, that I've been released. The last time I was on this mound was the last pitch that I ever threw in my life. After you get past this, this period of, uh, of grieving, yeah, you start really trying to map out what, what are the next steps. I initially tried to get a corporate job and I, and I despised it, I, I, I couldn't stand it. I called up my coaches at, at Florida Tech that I, that I played at and I said, hey guys, I, I really want to get into coaching. I was the pitching coach at, at Florida Tech and Coach Murr, he was uh, the recruiting coordinator and the hitting coach. He was chopping barrels of, of baseball bats I just had this, this curiosity or this thought in my mind of, I, I wonder if you could drill out the, the center of that and drink from it uh, to create a mug. In the beginning stages of all this, um, I was taking bats and I was cutting them. Uh, I was in my sister's backyard. I had zero clue about wood manufacturing. I could only get it to a certain level with my knowledge base. I was just trying to reach out to people that have done things at a larger level than I, than I have. And uh, I was just doing some research online and I came across Chris. I reached out to him through a Facebook message and I said, hey, you know, this is what I'm doing and uh, I would love to pick your mind and try to get an idea of how I could scale this up and, and do bigger things. Yep, there's a few curly maple pieces that came over with the birch wood that's looking really good. Is it? Yep. Ah, here's one. Yeah. We'll grab a few of those and bring them to the front of the house. It was interesting. When I first saw the mug, I didn't get it, right? I, I was more of a football fan than a baseball fan. I took it out into public. Every five steps, someone wanted to know what it was. Where did I get it? Where could they get one? And with my background being in business, entrepreneurship, e-commerce, I knew what that meant, right? People wanted what I had. So at that point, I, I, I thought, this is the guy, this is the time, this is, this is the thing that was put in my, my path to do, so cheers to that. We launched in June of 2016. That, that first six months or so of, of business, we did about $70,000. And the, the following year in 2017, about $1.1 million in sales. And if, that, if, if the numbers do what we think they're gonna do, I think we're probably gonna be uh, you know, ramping up to have a full two pallets a week, I think would be pretty reasonable. If people see it in your hand, they, they don't know what it is. You pour a beer in it, they tend to figure it out pretty quick. And create a life you don't have to take a vacation from. That's what we've done. What's really cool about our products is every single mug is one of a kind. Originally we thought that our product was going to be for the baseball super fan, but what we quickly figured out is that it's perfect for weddings, for a groomsman gifts, or uh, grandma or grandpa. I never in a million years thought I would be selling baseball bat mugs because they didn't exist, right? Um, I, I think Steve Jobs never imagined he'd be selling phones and computers and, until he created them, right? But now I couldn't see myself doing anything else. So one of the things I love the most about the product is how just completely disruptive it is. Um, everybody knows about beer, knows about a drink, or knows about baseball, but no one ever put it together. This is where my, my love and my passion started was, was in a dugout, so yeah, it definitely does come full circle.